Hi everyone, thank you so much if you are coming back day after day for an apple a day in May. I really appreciate your high tolerance for Housefrau. And thank you everyone for making 4,000 subscribers a reality for me yesterday. I never would have thought that was possible and I really appreciate each and every one of you. You're all so special and you'll be rewarded in heaven. And I guess you know that's a lie, but I'm very grateful. So a YouTube user by the name of Alexander Ellis Robbins, incidentally my son's middle name is Ellis, has asked me what I think about polygamy. And it was much too much to put in a paragraph. And as you know, I'm looking for things to talk about anyway. So I might as well tell you here and now, I don't like it. And here's why. It's not that I can't accept people being polyamorous because although I find it so depressing when people are like swingers and, and people like that, it really depresses me. And I know that it's sexy for everyone and people have different views about sex and, and intimacy, but it's depressing. And the thing I don't like about the sister wives are, <laughs> I could do a whole thing on that show, when it becomes part of certain cultures, polygamy exploits children. They have child brides, and I just cannot condone that. And even the ones who are older just have been so sheltered, and they're so naive. And I can't stand to watch that Sister Wives show when it was on. I don't know if it's still on. Probably not. Um, they would have these women who were, to me, what I feared men fear women are. Like, women who just want sperm donors and to be provided for. Because to me, the reason there's no jealousy between those women is because they don't want a man anyway. They want to be provided for and they want to have children and they want to serve the Lord. And I guess this guy becomes their Lord and they kind of do what he says, but I guess there's no jealousy and regardless of how it works for them. Can you imagine the societal ramifications of having all of these people on the same so social security, all of these people married? You know, dad goes into the hospital and they say, only immediate family, and in comes like 100 people, suddenly it's a scene from the king and I, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, all of these things, estate taxes and, you know, the rights to the spouse, I just can't wrap my brain around a polyamorous society. I'm willing to explore the possibility that I'm too set in my ways of what I know, but I don't think I'm wrong here. I remember being a child and really loving opening that door in the morning and both of my parents were in their bed. And I don't think I would like it if that memory included a revolving door on the bedroom. Is tonight the night mommy sleeps with daddy? Or is it someone else's mommy sleeping with daddy? I. I just am not open-minded enough at this point in time to say that I would be okay with that. And maybe it is okay for other people, but I won't vote to make it legal. I'm all for par two parents, whether it's uh, two moms, two dads, or a mom and dad. I'm all for it. And if you want to have other people help and pitch in, there certainly can't be too many people around to love your child. But I still think that there's something missing from a commitment ceremony where you pledge your eternal love to one, two, three, four, no, 15 people. That's some commitment. So the soap world lost Jean Cooper today, and I didn't even watch soaps. I don't watch soap operas, but I knew she was like the grand dame. And I also knew who she was because I had a weird Hollywood run-in with her son, Corbin Burnson, who is also an actor you may recognize. He was in Major League and I think a show called L.A. Law. hope I'm not saying that wrong. I'll have to look it up. But he was having a garage sale of all things. I was driving up Laurel Canyon and there was this sign that said huge ass garage sale today. And I thought, who would put something like that around here? That shows a lot of personality for a garage sale sign. And it's a garage sale in a nice area. And I was new to L.A. and needed some stuff. So I went there. And I see this truck pull in, and as I'm pulling in, and he kind of looks over at me, and I'm like, it's Corbin Burnson. He's not going to the garage sale, too, is he? And it turned out it was his garage sale, because I recognized his wife at a table there, also an actress. And it turned out his kids made the sign. His kids just wanted to get rid of some stuff. And it was funny, too, because there was this banter between his teenager and him, and this uh, um, the other younger boy it was probably about 13 and one was maybe 17. I don't know. I don't know their ages at the time, but you know, they were at that age and they were just 
lampooning him and, you know, making fun of dad. And I thought it's kind of funny because to them, he's just dad and movie stars are not movie stars at home. Corbin Burnson doesn't need to have a garage sale, so they were giving away stuff almost for free. And one of the things that I noticed there was a table that his wife was standing at that was full of jewelry. And I mean, really nice jewelry. And I don't even really like jewelry per se. I've, I have an appreciation for it, but I never buy it. I like to hold it, touch it, you know, and put it back. But I went and uh, saw this jewelry and it was really cheap and it was every piece I loved. It was just all beautiful and timeless and really beautiful costume jewelry. And it was all designed by Jean Cooper. And I said, I remember hearing she had a jewelry collection and this was like excess or something. And I was Man, I made out like a bandit. It was great. And I got Zach's first bed when we moved to L.A. Corbin Burnson sold me his bed for $3. And it was really nice. It was in mint condition. And he helped me put it in the car. And that's my Corbin Burnson story. In happier news, Atheism Defended left very funny comments regarding the shout-out I gave him yesterday and said that, out of all of his videos, I chose the one where he made a horse's ass out of himself. And I have to tell you, that's why I liked that video. I actually didn't see the others yet, but that really stood out to me and that's why I gave you a shout out. And I don't know if you've caught any of my videos, but maybe this will make you feel better and help you see why I'm laughing with you. Nothing's gonna harm you, not while I'm around. <laughs> What? You went and got yourself raped by the blacksmith? Congratulations on your pending nuptials. What are you crying about? It's your own fault you're the one who left the house with a vagina? Now quit your crying and put on something not ripped. We got dress shopping to do. Happy 500 subscribers to me. Happy 500 subscribers to me. Of course you want all the dark meat. You're part of the patriarchy. Do you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? Me neither. If a priest tells you he has rosary beads in his pocket, make, make him get them. How do I get my YouTube channel more I'm too freaking old to show my tits. Also, I'm not bright. I don't lean too far left or too right. This vlog has been brought to you by the good people at Jesus Helper. Your family won't just thank God, they'll thank you. Jesus Helper, dinner is saved. There's going to be a lot of jokes. I'm really funny.